Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Joni Young, if you're new here. Today we're working on a pretty winter landscape. I've got a 20 by 24 canvas. I pre-painted, so this is just a loose craft paint, not primer. So I just pre-painted two coats on a regular white canvas. And this is Slate Gray by Americana, but you can use any paint that you want for this. It's all dry and I'm ready to begin the first step of the painting. So I'm going to be using a flat brush and I've got a number 12 here that I'm going to use. I've got titanium white and I've got some black. I'm going to start coming in with the river first in black and then I'll add some trees and then I'll go from there. So with a little bit of water and some black paint, I'm going to come right in with my river and I want it to have a lot of flow. So I'm just going to start right about here, right about halfway down the canvas, sliding my brush side to side, smaller back here, right? Cause it's, we want to create that distance and perspective. Then I'm going to start coming in, making wider brush strokes. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more water to help that paint flow easier. I'm going to change the direction a little bit and bring it over this way. And then I'm going to pull back towards the center. Right away, I'm going to pick up a little bit of white after I clean my brush off. Still got a little bit of water in there. And I'm going to start going up and down. Sometimes longer brush strokes, sometimes shorter. Pick up a little bit of water again. Sometimes I'm going to turn my brush this way. All we're doing is creating some atmosphere for the background. Some light on some trees. but not detailed trees, just shapes and light. I'm gonna take a little bit more white now. And I'm going to start coming along the side here. Right up to our flowing river. Or maybe it's a creek. Some body of water that flows through here. Leaving hints of that gray. Now, if you want to create more, a little bit more height and perspective in your painting, instead of going flat, start to arch your brush stroke a little bit. That'll set your river or water down lower. And the snow a little bit raised and higher. Use gray and or black and white gray.
scale paintings are excellent for beginners. It really, really simplifies a lot of what you're painting. Not worrying too much about color mixing at this point. We're just taking it nice and easy and simple, concentrating only on light and shadow, which is a very important part of learning. Getting your composition down and not being distracted and overwhelmed by color yet. Anyways, do it in black and white grayscale first. It can look a lot more 3D and have extra those extra layers and mid-tones later on once you decide to add some color but it also looks nice just in black and white now just with a little bit of water and thin white paint on my brush i'm going to come right down here pull and flick just to add a reflection. And then I'm gonna softly pull across in the other way or the other direction. You can also take your brush this way and add little lines. Now what I'd like to do, once I add those reflections, I like to come in with a little bit more black and really play up on some shadows and add a little bit more depth along the edges right under the snow here, the snow banks. I'm going to take a bit of white with the black that's left in my brush and give this the illusion that that river or creek is just keeps going back there. Rinse all that gray and black out. Get a little bit of white here and just add A little bit on either side again just to clean it up I'm going to use is my number 30 filbert brush. I want to use this brush because it's got a round end to it, but I can also tap like this to add little bits of foliage, frost covered or snow covered foliage coming down. So I'm going to get my brush wet first. A little bit of water really helps the paint to come out of the brush. Let's take a little bit like this, and I'm going to start. and then 
a light little pull. As this first layer of white is drying, I can come in and add some more now. Just want to bring back a little bit a little bit more black I want to open this area up a little bit more Go back over to my flat brush. And just pull the sweep down and across, creating different lines. Take a little bit more white. And add some rocks, snow covered rocks. And all I'm doing is just using the corner of my brush, so I'll show you again a little bit of white like that. We'll have circles, different sizes. Now I'm going to take a long liner brush, a little bit of water and white. And I'll just very lightly start pulling some branches in here, and trees. I'm not using a lot of pressure at all for this.
I think I want to have a few waterfalls in the distance. So I'm going over to my flat brush again. Keep in mind you guys can use any size brushes that you want or that are suitable for the size of canvas that you're working on. So with a bit of water, white, preferably just on the tip of my brush. That's the only part of the brush I really want to be using. We've already got these lines that come down, so it kind of is giving me this illusion and really making me want to play this up and turn these more into waterfalls, some cascading waterfalls. Now to do that, you can go on an angle and curve. If you want to make them wider, use the whole width of your brush. I'm just going to soften all of this back here. Make it look a little blurry. Then I'm going to use an oval mop brush. This one's a one inch. And I'm going to take a little bit of white. And I'm just going to start adding some little bushes. on either side. And to really set that waterfall back in there, I'm gonna add some of these bushes in front. a bit of that paint and a few water droplets that I've, I've got on my palette here. I'm going to add another icy looking highlight and reflection in the water. Just cover this area up with a little bit of black again. And at any time, go back and add some more black in between here. Black will, depending on what black you're using, Mars Black is a really good one. This is just one of my um, looser craft paints. So once this dries, I might go back and, and add little bits of my really good black, Mars Black, that I know will really show up. Okay, so what I want to do is start coming in with some darker gray now. And I'm going to use my oval mop brush. It's wet and the shape is more like a, a filbert brush. So I know I can just use this to make some foliage again. And I'm just making a darker shade of gray than what the background is. Oh yeah, see? So I'm gonna pull and sweep, turn my brush, make some skinnier ones, and I'm gonna tap. Just so make it look a little bit more like some foliage in some areas.
add a little bit over here. A little bit of water on my brush, not a lot. Just gonna sweep out a little bit. Now just a little bit along the top. We want to create these shadows, but still be able to really see. And adding these shadows is really going to help dry your eye in and appreciate all that beautiful light going on back there. It's inviting. It's what draws us in. I'm going to a little bit of a different shape here when the well, the shape's quite a bit different when the brush is really wet compared to when it's dry. You see why when you want to create those poofy foliage and bushes, you mustn't get the brush really wet in water. But for this kind of a look, it's really handy. You hear that noise? I'm just flip, flip, flicking right off the wood frame of the canvas. Just to add a little bit more shadow on the side. I'm going to add a little bit more foliage though back here before I bring that big tree in. And here I've got one of my pretty angle uh, crystal handed iridescent makeup brushes and it's a really nice brush for creating foliage as well really soft so I'm just going to start adding a little bit more so you kind of almost get like a lacy shape it's so pretty add a few low laying bushes back here, maybe some trees. I'm going to soft scumble. Make it look blurry back there. Just take a tiny bit more here of my white. Now I'm ready to come in with my big tree. So again, number 12, filbert, black, a little bit of water on my brush. I have my tree coming down in here. Nice big tree, it's gonna make a big, big statement.
after adding some thick branches. Back over to my liner brush, some water, some black. You can start adding some thinner branches. Now I painted something very similar to this as a summer, very moody, lots of greens, yellows, blues, even a hint of purple. Um, summer themed one like this. That was the, the very first one that I'm sort of going by and that's kind of inspiring me this one so I'll for sure leave a link below this video somewhere And down here, I always like to add a few low lying branches that come out. And then I've got another bush somewhere in here. Just add a little bit of gray to that to make it show up a little bit more. I'm just going to create all these little squiggles down here. Quick little movements, crisscrosses, sort of wiggly, a little bit of water, dark gray, sometimes just black on my brush. Okay, then with a little bit of white, a little bit of gray, I'm going to do the first layer of some frost covered or snow covered foliage on here right away into the white and a little bit of black I'm going to use this brush just to create a little bit of pattern on the bark or maybe a little bit of frost. I want to have some foliage coming down here, so I'm going to tap, and this is with my darker gray, and I might have to add a little bit more black in some areas to make it show up. I want to layer it. 
it and have it over the tree. so much that it takes away from the background but we want to add just enough that it really complements all the light back there and helps to create a bit more of a mood so right back here where it's really dark I'm going to add more black I want to take some white with my liner brush. I'm going to take quite a bit here. And I'm going to start adding some snow and some beautiful highlights. So I'm going to add a little bit coming down. So we've got a combination of dark mid-tones and some of this bright, bright white. So with my filbert now, I'm going to soften I'm going to add a little bit more snow. And I'm going to carefully scumble out the rest of my white right 
outside of this tree. Make that stand out and create a little bit more light. snow here. I'm going to add a bridge. A low line bridge. A little bit of black here. Take a little bit of white. I'm just going to make this stand out a little bit more by taking a little bit of my gray. I'm going to go back over to angle mop brush and I'm going to add a little bit of foliage here at the base. I like the soft shape that I get from using this brush. So I'm going to build up the height a little bit over here. here as well. So I'm not crazy about those rocks so I can just cover it up with some snow. Going to soft whitewash for the background here.
And then we'll add some snow inside some of those bits of foliage and moss hanging down. And a little bit of white there, scumble that around back to a smaller brush so I have more control. Working in building up layers like this, really taking the time to do this, that's going to add that soft, glowing light and gradation in your paintings. So I'm going to take the two colors. See the pretty color that makes? You can hear what a dry brush that is. rich the color looks with this gray scale. Um, adding color to black and white for gray scale is my new favorite thing. I love doing it. It's so much fun. Because green is complementary to red, of course, I'm going to add a little bit of um, burnt sienna and some red to my black in my tree. I don't want to have too, too much paint on my brush. Finish off with a few lines here. Just stumbled over this area here for a little bit more shadow. Here is some snow. So I'm going to take my uh, toothbrush here, get it really wet, and I'm going to take a little bit of white, scumble it around, maybe tint it with a little bit make a mint, frosty mint kind of a color, and then I'm just going to place my hand like this, and my finger here. And just spray a little bit of snow. The very last thing I'm gonna do 
is just add a little bit of black under the bridge for more of a shadow in just one spot. So right in here we would have more of a shadow just on this side. Okay, this painting is all done. This was really fun to paint. I'm glad I got to share it with you all. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, please give this video a big thumbs up to like it and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you all soon. Happy painting. Have a wonderful day. Bye everybody.